Hello Libra, welcome to a bonus love reading. This reading will be all about your person and how they are feeling about you, what they're thinking of you or the connection. And also we're gonna look at what are their next actions going to be towards you. So this is gonna be a short and quick reading. So let's jump right in for Libra Spirit. Now Libra, this is a general message, so it will not resonate with every Libra watching 100%. Please just take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. Um, if it doesn't resonate at all, then check out my playlist for Libra. It'll be linked in the description box. Spirit, tell me about Libra's person. What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Libra or this connection? What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Libra or this connection? Wow, we have the Ace of Swords. So they're thinking of uh, clarity, communication, a serious talk. What else? What are they thinking or feeling? Four of Pentacles. Interesting. So I feel like this is someone that is probably holding back or um, holding on to something here. Maybe that's why communication is so important. I'm, I'm picking a very guarded energy with this card because even though I'm looking at this card, I can only picture the traditional imagery, like the traditional tarot, the Rider Waite. I cannot even focus on this picture. All I can think about is someone being very protective and guarded over their pentacles. So we'll see what that's all about. Can I get one more? What are they thinking or feeling? And it comes to Libra. Two of Wands. A path forward. Choosing where to go, where to go next, what 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 options they have. This is a card about waiting as well. Um patience this is very interesting it's almost like this person needs to talk about or there needs to be a conversation between you and this person to bring about enough clarity to decide wh where to go next so let's see tell me about the ace of swords can you tell me about the ace of swords Wow, Ace of Cups, another Ace. So this conversation, communication could be about emotions, love, feelings. Wow, and then there's the Chariot, Cancer Energy, moving forward, success. This could be somebody coming to visit you to have a conversation. What's at the bottom of the deck? Queen of Swords. So this is very open, direct conversation. The Queen of Swords is also very guarded energy. They're very hard to read. Um, they keep, you know, their cards close to their vest or chest, you know, that phrase. Um, so I feel like this is about like getting clarity or information because there has been discarded energy, whether this is coming from you or from your person. This could be a, a conversation about the future of your connection. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. What's this about? Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Oh, well, we have the star. Aquarius energy. Let me get one more, please, for the Four of Pentacles. Empress. Interesting. It's almost like um someone that has hope or a wish in the expansion, the the growth of something. <clears throat> Bottom of the de deck, I have the fool. So yeah, th it, this is definitely. I have three cards here: the chariot, the fool, the two of wands. About a path. 
being on a path, on a course, towards somewhere. All these three cards have that in common. The Empress is about love, creativity, manifestation, abundance, growth. Everything the Emperor touches turns to gold. They're able to grow. Can I get one more for the Empress, please? And the star is about hope, renewal, healing, faith. So it's like these two together, having a hope or faith in the growth of something. Oh. No, those just like jumped out. We have the Queen of Cups. Another card about emotions, feelings. Seven of Cups. Um, this is a card about choices. Another card about choices. And then we have the Two of Wands here. And then Justice. There you are. Libra Energy. Now that I see Justice here with the star, there could be someone having hope or wanting to heal. Um, bring something back into balance here. Have Justice. Um, and they're trying to figure out how to go about this. Um, I have the Queen of Swords again at the bottom of the deck. So this could be part of what you talk about with this person. Um, I feel like this is going to be, um, it's almost like a big discussion that you have with this person. I don't know who's going to initiate it. Um, but it's almost like this is, this is necessary for this connection to move forward. I think... At least one of you wants to grow this, see where it leads. Restore balance. If it's not, you know, if things are not really fair or balanced right now, justice is here. Tell me about the two of wands. Four of swords. Oh, that one just flew out. The hangman. So there's no action here. So someone is hesitating, maybe because they don't have the information they need. There's a fool again. So whoever's trying to decide where this is headed or what choice they need to make, they're not really acting or making any um, any decisions right now. I feel like this still is kind of in progress, is what I should say. Um, this hasn't actually taken place yet. Queen of Pentacles. Interesting. I don't know if this person's viewing you as an Empress, Queen of Pentacles energy. They both have very similar energy, especially with this deck. If you can see the Queen of Pentacles in this deck has like, like this cornucopia, which is like harvest and abundance. Um, I feel like this is a connection that has a lot of potential, but someone needs the clarity, you know, like they need to know. And then I have the magician at the bottom of the deck. So this is someone that definitely wants to manifest, make something happen here. But with the four of swords and the hangman, there's no action as of right now. Can I get some more insight into what they're thinking or feeling about Libra? Can you tell me more about what this person is thinking or feeling about Libra? You are my soulmate. Can I get one more? I made a mistake. Interesting. So some of you are dealing with someone who recognizes that maybe they had a part to play in something and there's regrets. Can I get one more, please? Tell me about this person's energy when it comes to this connection with Libra. Earthworm. This is about beginnings. This is someone that I feel might want to start over or um, heal something once again or start from scratch. I also have the Fool that came up several times with the Ace of Cups. So this could be somebody that, you know, they want to move forward with you. They want to manifest or grow something um, that has a lot of potential um, where they can start again or have another chance or something like that with the earthworm. What are their next actions going to be? What are their next actions going to be? 
towards Libra or this connection? What are their next actions going to be? Okay, we have the sun. The two of wands again. What are their next actions going to be? Two of swords. <laughs> Indecision. This person's undecided. Why is the sun here? Also, I don't see action here. So let's see what this is all about. Tell me about the sun. Page of Swords. So I feel like there's clarity that this person needs first. They need to talk to you first. It's like bringing something out in the open. Can I get one more for the sun? Knight of Swords, exactly. Yeah, there's something this person needs to tell you. And they need to tell you this in order to find out or make a decision. Tell me about the Two of Wands. What's the Two of Wands about? The Hierophant. Taurus energy. Tell me more about the Two of Wands. Ten of Swords. So it's almost like there's two very different paths here. A path towards an ending and a path towards something that's maybe more committed or um, yeah, it's almost like it could go either way. This conversation could go either way. But until they have that, they are not going to make the decision. Until they have the clarity that they seek, they're not going to make their decision. This could also be you. Maybe you are ready to make this decision. Tell me about, and they're thinking about this. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Yeah, there's fear here. Someone's undecided. Let me get one more. The Two of Swords. The magician. This person could be undecided, and you know, and it could very well be that they they are trying to decide the best way to approach you, approach this conversation. Maybe they are talking themselves out of you know whatever this is. Um, with the two of swords, you know, I have the magician and I have the eight, eight of swords. Either I make something happen or I don't do anything at all. Right, two very different energies. So it's like they're going back and forth. It, it really could go either way. Can I get some clarity, please, about this Two of Swords? Ten of Wands. I don't think they can keep this up. Whatever this is, they need to know. Um, it's almost like there's a, a fork in the road here. Something that... You know, it can't be a gray area anymore. It's either one or the other. You have to choose. Um, either we continue forward towards something that is more traditional, more committed, uh, more official, or we don't. And I feel like before this person can make that decision, they need to have clarity here. A conversation that could change the course of, you know, where this goes. All right, Libra, I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully this bonus reading resonated with you. If it did, or if you enjoyed it, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing and leaving me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you want to know anything about my personal readings, my book, my website, my decks, uh, any of the information that you would want to know about is in the description box. Uh, I will see you all very soon with another video. Take care.